a review that I have been asked to do. It is for a British house called Pecksniffs. They do sell them here in the US. Interestingly though, if you try to get these from the Pecksniffs website, they are out of stock, at least of the three that I have. Uh, the three that I have are active, professional, and charismatic. They are selling them for 35 euros per bottle, 400 ml bottle. So we're just gonna get right into it. So each fragrance seems to target or highlight a specific activity or trait. For example, this is called active. So you're probably, we're probably gonna expect a more like sporty, soapy, sudsy, shower gel, fresh feeling vibe out of this. Some of the notes are actually listed on the box. I don't know if you can see that. Make it focus there. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, it is Mandarin, Zest, and Cedar Wood. So we've got some citrus, some woody notes that'll be going on there likely. On the very back, you've got uh, some instructions. You see that? The instructions there. Ingredients list and some manufacturer information, including the, the batch code. I like what it says at the bottom. Asked for, therefore made. You asked for it. We made it for you. <laughs> but I will read what it says. The instructions actually say, Eau de Toilette, spray lightly over pulse points for a long lasting scent. Stop using if product disagrees with you. What? You don't believe in climate change? I'm not using you anymore. Made in England, Suffolk, IP27, UK, Pecksniffs International. Info at pecksniffs.com. And it does have a 12 month little a little 12 month there. I don't know if you can, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Man, autofocus really bites on this. Oh, right about there. Okay. Anyway, so so we're gonna open this up. I'll hold the bottle so it doesn't fall out. But that's actually the way that it's like a little um, fragrance coffin sarcophagus there. So right there. So we're gonna take it out of the box. Now, you, it's clear that Pecksniffs designed these to be economical for the everyday average man, not a niche knob, not a collector perchance, but just someone who wants to jump out of the shower, throw something on, and head towards whatever activity they've planned. We're gonna take a fragrance strip and spray. Now, as you can see, each lid is, there's really not, not much to it. It's just a lid for function only. And the atomizer is just, you know, straight from the factory. No frills, no bells, no whistles, just sniffs. Peck sniffs. All right, so here we go. Hopefully the atomizer will perform anyway because that's a lot of juice in the bottle. Okay, at least it's got a really good spray, man. That's a good atomizer. So just as anticipated, really fresh. You can definitely smell the mandarin orange. I really like orange notes. Um, have you ever worked with uh, stuff called Goof Off or Goo Gone, or there's all kinds of names for it, but what it is is they take the orange rind and there's an oil in the orange rind that is a solvent and it lifts adhesives or loosens them. And so they put it in this product and sell it, but I love the smell of it when you spray it. It's like a, it's like, throwing orange rinds in the trash compactor or the um, the food thing. You know, the thing that grinds up food. Anyway, when you do that, it fills the entire kitchen or wherever you're cleaning with that orange scent. And that's kind of what it reminds me of, although not as strong. And there are a lot of subtleties there. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. That's a quality fragrance. So, active. So I'm getting a sense of the zest, the woody notes, definitely can smell the cedar, the uh, mandarin orange, and the zest. And there's a little bit of pepper feels like there too. There's a little bit of a bite to it. But right in the middle of that orange is that very citrus, that strong citrus woody note that carries this. So I would have to agree. If you spray this lightly over pulse points, 
Heck, I wouldn't even spray it lightly. The smell is so fresh and quality that you could just pretty much spray it up and down your entire arm, your torso, somewhere like that, fresh out of the shower. So active, just like the name implies, it's a great heat enhanced summer fragrance for warmer weather. Pexness Active. I can't speak to the longevity, the tenacity, or the sillage of trail that this would leave, but just from what I'm smelling out of the bottle and off the tester strip, it's actually pretty good. If I had to give it a rating and a rating system, I would say probably three and a half out of five. All right, let's put Active back in its sarcophagus. Lay it to rest. And this is what the boxes look like. show you that the boxes all look the same the only variation or differences in some of the colors this particular one is professional and because it highlights the uh, lemon cedar and amber notes this is also going to have a very citrusy opening black pepper cedar wood lavender musk and some marine also in this so this is gonna be a little bit more complex than I originally thought in terms of the layers there. Now the blending in active is really good. Let's see if the blending in professional is equally as good. Now professional, what would you think in terms of the usage for this just from the word alone? Your work, right? The office. You could even put office professional. But professional is a demeanor, it is a deportment, it is a way to carry yourself, a way to come off, or a way to present yourself. You, you possibly even heard the, the phrase, he or she is a very professional, or they carry themselves very professionally. So, embodies the thought behind this particular fragrance. Let's give it a whirl. Now the atomizer is silver, whereas active was black. So this is a little more professional. So let's give it a couple sprays here, as you can see. Wow, right on the target. Wow, okay. Whew, that is very zingy. Wow, that's actually really good. I'm definitely getting a sense of a uh, patchouli is definitely used in this to bind everything because patchouli, similar to like ambergris, is a, it's a good binding agent for blending these, but I really like what it's doing. I'm actually quite surprised. Professional. Now the cedar note in this is really strong. It comes off in the mid, even though it is a mid or, or, or bass note, it comes, it comes up right up into the opening and says, hello, I'm here. Hello, my name is Cedar. Also coming to the foreground, which is, even though it is a bass note, is the leather, the chipre. There's leather, there's wood, <clears throat> and the lavender, adds, the lavender adds a nice floral balance to the citrus and the uh, patchouli, the wood, and the leather. So it kind of brings them all together into one arena. As mentioned, um, professional is built around the Chypre um, olfactive group or note, which is um, it's kind of a trifecta of bergamot, um, patchouli, oak moss, and labdanum. So those three or four things comprise the Chypre there. So very, very nice, great notes, amber. So it's a dark, rich, evocative, heavier fragrance. So it's definitely heavier. Active is, is hey, bouncy, young, youthful, vibrant. This is heavier, a little bit more, more mature, knows what it wants, has its mind about it. Now, let's check out the oriental side, which is what charismatic promises. I want to show you the box of professional. It says right underneath professional, Lemon, cedar, and amber. I don't know if you can see that probably better there. Yeah, lemon, cedar, and amber. And then the box for charismatic says tarragon, lime, and musk. 
at the bottom there. So a little bit of a gold overlay. So atomizer similar to active is just black. I don't know what the difference is in the silver and the black. It's possibly just bulk in the way that they're made. And they really don't differentiate the difference, I guess. So let's see the spray is quite good. It jets out nicely and you get a bunch of juice once it's primed. That is a lot. It covered my entire hand. Okay. Quite nice. Not as uh, thoughtful or provocative as I thought it would be. Hmm. I actually don't like that as much as I thought it would. That's the trouble with uh, reading other people's thoughts and opinions is you begin to develop a, a thought or opinion of your, your own based on that information. Um, that's why any review that you see, including my own, is just a, it's a base. Like it's a base level of understanding it, to give you an idea. Like if something's completely horrible and you watch a review and someone tells you it's completely horrible, chances are it's going to be completely horrible. But there is a variation in terms of quality and there's a, there's a wide berth, a lot of wiggle room for differences of opinion and understanding you know, differences in, you know, olfactive sen olfactory sense, representations of odors, fragrances. So charismatic is nice, but it's not, I don't know. It seems for me, tarragon is, I, I really like it in Versace, man. I really, I'm not so sure I like it in charismatic. This does have a nice oriental vibe or feel to it. But this also dissipates really, really rapidly. So Charismatic does not have a lot of longevity. I, I can tell right away. I bet money on that because it's already, I've sprayed a pretty heavy spray. I think I sprayed twice. You might have to rewind that to see. I sprayed a pretty heavy spray on this and it's already drying down and dissipating. So, you know, sometimes quantity over quality. So you got a pretty good amount. And I bought these, I actually bought these at um, TJ Maxx and I believe I paid $8 for each one. That's a pretty good deal for a 100 ml bottle. So even if you didn't necessarily love it and even if it didn't necessarily last, none of these are going to be monsters of longevity, of course, but I don't think that they were necessarily designed for that. They were designed to scratch a particular olfactory itch in terms of hey I want something a little bit different something that I can grab and use without worrying about something I can throw in my gym bag and take with me and something that I can recommend to my friends. Peck Sniffs definitely fits that bill. It is an extremely inexpensive fragrance. Its quality is commensurate with the price to a degree I think you get pretty good quality for the, for that price. Unfortunately, as, as mentioned, you cannot currently get it off the Peck Sniffs website. It uh, not only are they out of stock, but also due to certain restrictions, they can only ship within uh, European areas. However, if you are lucky enough to have a TJ Maxx in the vicinity or in your area, uh, or another department store that is similar, that will quite likely that has like a clearance section for fragrances, you'll likely find Peck Sniffs. At one time, I remember walking into TJ Maxx and, and there were shelves and shelves of these and I thought they were books. I was like, what, what in the world? Uh, and they sold out really pretty quickly. In fact, I don't think that they have more than three or four at our local TJ Maxx here. So, all right guys, that's it for my first impressions and review of the UK house Peck Sniffs. They have over 28 different fragrances for both men and women. Check out their website. And if you can find them in your local shopping districts, please do check them out. The price is right and you've got some great variations in and flavors in the juice. So just in the three that I have, uh, we've got uh, the citrus family, we've got the, um, the chypre leather family, and then we've got fresh spice and incense. So it covers a wide variety of, of situations and, and uses. So that's a lot to recommend, some good stuff there. And as always, like, subscribe, and comment. 
below. Your support is very much appreciated. All right, that's it for me. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.